2021 Lochalsh Collaboration was set up as a forum of community councils, trusts and other organisations to consult local people and create a community action plan. We wanted to know what would make Kyle and Lochalsh a better place for everyone. And in this and the next two videos, we're going to tell you about the top 10 priorities that will be the main focus of the community action plan. The first on our list is work, income and business. You talked about there being better support for businesses, more options and locations for retail and no empty shops. The big issues that I found are workspace and the just lack of availability of it. Over the last three years, I have been in contact with every landowner that I am aware of, the Highland Council, the HIE, the Business Gateway, the National Trust, all the estates and I have advertised in social media and I have also advertised in local press and I have tried word of mouth to no avail. I do have a lad that helps me part time at the moment but obviously because of my workspace I can't give him a full time job and I know he would love to work for me full time. I also thought that you know given, given a bigger premises I could also look at maybe taking on like a, a school leaver from school um, and giving them the chance of like an apprenticeship, learning a skill, a trade and them not fe feeling forced like they have to leave the area. You said there needed to be more jobs that are better paid and jobs that aren't so reliant on tourism. Ever since I got here I've been working um, in the hospitality. Yeah, so that's really what there is a lot of seasonally anyway. Mostly it's summer, full on, winter drops off and then you can kind of get by like just about um, money wise I've found but then mental health wise it's quite difficult. The next topic is all about food. Being able to grow food and make produce available at an affordable price and to reduce food waste is something you feel strongly about. You'd like to see individuals and community groups have access to land to be able to grow their own food. And it just seems really important. I think, you know, a lot of people who want to live here want to have some space for, you know, self-sufficiency and potentially even sort of commercial growing. Um, and not having that access, I think, just means that a lot of people who might otherwise stay aren't um, and yeah the community is sort of dwindling as a result. And maybe there could be access to more crofts and other land to make sure that everybody could get involved. A lot of it's tied up well, in big estates. You know there's a few estates around here that have huge swathes of land that aren't being used all that much and you could support dozens of families there. And you wanted to make sure that the community fridge in Kyle is kept going and that way good food is available to everyone and food waste is reduced. To start with, people thought it was only about um, food poverty, but actually it's really about food waste because, um, you know, there's a lot of waste goes from the co-op each, each night, um, food that, is no, that they can no longer sell um, would otherwise go in the bin. And um, we just thought that was really, really wrong. One of the hot topics that had comments for good and bad was tourism. You talked about the need for more tourism facilities to keep people in the area. At lunch times there's no coffee shops, there's no, you know, if people are walking along into the village from the castle, there's nothing for anyone to do. Yeah. The need for facilities for camper vans. We do love them, but you know, they come up and they take spaces up and they tend to try to get the wild camper. It's not really viable now, it's too, too busy out here now, it's not really as it used to be. And how tourism has a positive impact on jobs and businesses. But you also said there are issues with litter and human waste, with low paid seasonal jobs. There's not such a, a vast um, typing of jobs up here. It, 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 they're all quite similar with hotel work or restaurant work, shop work. Um, so yeah, there's, there's, there's pros and cons to it. And you spoke about how that affected your ability to rent or buy a home. And a lot of people get their work through that industry, but it's sort of starting to balance the wrong way. People in the village who you know, constantly moving around between houses and, you know, they kind of have to move into a holiday house in the winter when it's not occupied by holiday makers and then find somewhere else in the summer and it's quite a, an unstable, like, housing situation. Everywhere's a holiday house, you can't compete with, you know, the pe people that are willing to pay, you know, however many hundred thousand pounds for a house. I don't know where I'd start um, for 
and I couldn't go anywhere down any the normal avenues in terms of housing. It's just like, just not an option at all. It's just really, it's quite bleak in, in that sense because we need people here all year round and it's not just like a view, it's like a community. To find out what the other topics are in your top 10, keep an eye out for the next in the series. Mm -hmm.